Rose, congratulations. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, listen, I, I know you said in, in, the, in the octagon, you know, like, like we try to just focus on the, you know, yeah. the journey and, and the process and not the results, but this does feel pretty damn good. So I guess yeah. you know, two and a half years since you've been there, I what, know. what does it feel like right now? What is this emotion? Yeah, man, it's been uh, the last uh, couple of years of my life have been pretty rough, you know, not like, um, I never let it get me down too far, you know what I mean? Um, but I've definitely had a lot of hurt. Um, in my recent past, for sure. But, you know, God gives me the strength. You know, the joy of the Lord is my strength, so I just I just keep going. How much do the challenges, like, affect your relationship with the sport? I mean, do, do you still love it? And, like, I'm definitely doing this 100%, <laughs> or were there times you're like, why am I even messing with this? 100%, yeah, definitely that, that question goes into my mind all the time. Like, why am I doing this? Even just in the locker room, like, why am I doing this? Remind myself, like, I'm the best, you know? Like, this is also what, you know... <sighs> It, it sounds so crazy, but it really, I, and sometimes I don't understand it, but God really designed me to do this. I'm really good at this, you know, and I know there's so many, everybody's good at this, but, you know, especially at this high level. But uh, I think this is just a tool for, for me to learn uh, lessons in life and grow in my spirituality and my strength. And um, there's fighting, fighting beats you up, man, emotionally, everything like that, not just the physical stuff, like the, the mental and, and psychological things, you know, just, but, but, uh, I, I choose to be loving regardless, you know, I choose to just not let that affect, make me a certain way or bitter or anything like that. Just forgive, you know, and keep moving. That's awesome. Uh, great performance tonight. Look good on the feet. Look good on the ground. I mean, uh, I'm sure you'll find, you know, little things you could have done better. But overall, yeah. how do you feel at 125 pounds and, and, and fighting out there? Yeah, I felt I felt actually pretty good. You know, um, there there was some things to work on. I, I, I think uh, I wasn't as quick as I wanted, like as snappy as I wanted to be, you know, like, but I, my arms are a little bigger. And uh, but I also could feel my strength was, you know, uh, great. So so. I know, and I think everybody thinks that I'm, you know, small or weak or something like that. So it's just, it's just good to, to um, get better at the grappling aspect of things and just kind of keep, keep uh, all of my skills um, up at a high level. Like, no, no uh, weakness anywhere, you know? Yeah. I, I wonder what your thoughts were competing <laughs> at the Apex, right? A unique environment for you. Did you enjoy it? I think maybe the piece of it might be a little <laughs> nice for you. I don't know. What, what did you think? Yeah, I thought weigh-ins was a little awkward because I'm used to, like, crazy press conferences and, and crazy weigh-ins, which, you know, in the past it used to, like, bother me, but then I kind of grew accustomed to the, the chaos. Um, so that was a little awkward, but but coming here was was definitely comfortable. You know, I was a little bit more serious. I think there was, like, the the environment was like, oh, is this trying to make me comfy, or make me sleepy or something? And I was like, nope, just, you know, just just keep focus and no matter what's happening. And uh, So it was, it was cool. I, I definitely liked uh, fighting here. The cage was a little smaller than than I like saw from the outside. So when I was in there, I was like, okay, all right, we're going <laughs> to have to, you know, get our footwork on and stuff. But uh, overall, it was it was a great experience. Nice. Last thing for me, you kind of touched on it, right? Like you're going to be paying attention to next week and we know about <laughs> tough and all that's happening. But I'm just curious. I mean, now that you're here, do you say, well, I'm, you know, I got to wait my turn? Or you kind of flex that star power, you know, flex <laughs> yourself a little bit and start inject yourself that, you know, title picture, title shots, that sort of thing. Uh, I'm sorry, what was the question? Would you be, yeah. I mean, are, are you just kind of like settling oh. into the division and be like, well, I'll just wait my turn? Or do you start saying, hey, look, I'm the former champ, you know? Yeah. Um, I, you know, I think that that's definitely like if, if they wanted to give me a title shot, I'm, I'm more than happy to do that. You know what I mean? I just, I know, um, you know, I lost to Manon Faro and she's fighting Aaron Blanchfield. And I thought, you know, and she was calling for a title shot. So I just, I know how things work, you know, and I know that you got to, you know, earn things. But, um, but, uh, Man, and had had things gone a little bit different of a, a way, I probably would have been in that title shot, you know, uh, after Manon. But it just it is what it is. I just um, it it was kind of weird not being ranked too, and just like okay, now like can I just get ranked now? <laughs> and then it was like okay, you know. So I so I think that just kind of like um, threw me off a little bit. Like, uh, but uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, so yeah, I but it was kind of cool, and like it, it, I was happy to like. You know, instead of just being the champ and then just jumping straight into a super fight, champ versus champ, you know, go up a weight class. I think it is kind of cool to just work your way up, you know what I mean, and, and do it that way. I think, it, you know, becoming the champ this way would be way more impressive, in my opinion. But, you know, at the same time, like, if they're, they want to give me that, 
I'll take it. <laughs> hey, Rosa. Yeah. You uh, mentioned Macy Barber as well. What what about that fight interests you? Um, I think she's she's a savage, you know. Uh, she's a big girl. She's strong. She's uh she's just a like a bully in there, you know. Um, and I I knew her when she was really young, and she's a lot different now. And uh, you know, she used to she used to kind of like call me out back when she was younger and things like that. So um, you know, I I think it's kind of funny, but you know, uh, she's she's really tough, and and uh, that would definitely that would definitely motivate me and and uh, get me going every day. Um, Cause I know, I know uh, she, she throws with really bad intentions um, and uh, yeah, but anybody else is cool too, you know, uh, Aaron Blanchfield and all, whoever t title. Yeah. Don't matter. Thank you. Thank you. You mentioned there the, the smaller cage. I know you're used to competing at these big arenas and going through these big five weeks. So did you make any adjustments on the fly given that small cage you noticed? Um, I don't know. I guess it just, uh, and nothing, nothing in particular. I just kind of took note of it, you know. Um, I think it's just more in my subconscious than anything. Yeah. But I think I just, I was thinking to faint more, but I, just for some reason, you know, Jake had, had to keep yelling it out for me to keep doing it. But, uh, but yeah, definitely like fainting more was, was kind of like in the, the, the adjustment thought process. <laughs> And I know you know more than anyone as a fighter that there's a big part of fighting is the mentality aspect. So given now we're in the Rose Flyway era, is there a new mentality going into this era? Um, yeah, everything is, I think it's, uh, even though I'm saying I'm the best, I'm the best, you know, it's just like, uh, it's more, that's just like, um, I, I'm still, fo I think just now I'm more focused on, um, you know, my spirituality and things like that and just, and things uh, beyond this realm, you know, so, so I think before it was like, ah, I got to do it, you know, if I don't, if I don't, you know, when my whole, my whole, uh, I don't know, self-worth is just on the line and I just feel crappy about myself and it's like, dude, you know, it, it's, it's so hard, everybody trains so hard and we all want it, you know, so I just kind of like let go a little bit and just let, you know, God do the rest. Congratulations. Thank you. Rose, i uh what what did you think was the difference for you? The rounds were close. You won four of the five <laughs> rounds on two, but a lot of those rounds were close. What did you think you did better that led you to get the victory? Yeah, um, I think that I had more top position. I know she got me with one of the head tosses. Um, you know, and I, I think I just landed more power shots. Um, I think she probably landed maybe more, like, maybe more actual strikes. I don't know. Um, but... I always, I always was a uh, better at landing more. I think, I know there's like significant strikes and then strikes landed or whatever. But I think there, there should be maybe like, I think my significant strikes were more significant if that makes any more sense. Um, uh, so I, I just think I had more impact and I think I caused more damage to her face for sure. Um, and yeah, I, I feel like I had um, three of the rounds. Yeah. And just curious, you know, you referenced the not being ranked, you know, you hadn't won in the division, but did it do anything to your confidence when you look at it and your name's not there, like you're used to being not only in the rankings, but at the top of the rankings? Did it, you know, make you doubt yourself at all or even for a little bit? I just thought it was strange, you know, and it definitely it was, it, it made me doubt myself in the sense of like, why am I even worried about this? I never used to worry about this kind of stuff before. It never bothered me. Like people would always be like, oh, so what do you think about your ranking? And I'm just like, I don't know. Like, am I winning? Like, <laughs> that's all I care about. So um, I've always felt like it was just the champ and everybody else, you know? And so, but all of a sudden it was like, why am I even worried about this? You know what I mean? Kind of a thing. But, but it, it was strange, you know, and it was cool to still be pound for pound somewhere in there, but <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was, it was weird. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I just want to shout out to, uh, hold on, what's her name? <laughs> uh, Nancy McNally, the mayor of Westminster. We got, uh, you know, my, my favorite city, Westminster Dog Park. They're trying to close it down. Um, I wanted to make this announcement on the on the post fight interview, but I forgot. But uh, yeah, I want to talk to her because they're trying to shut down our beloved dog park in Westminster, and uh, it is there's a lot of lot of um, I think lies, and they're doing it in a very dishonest way, in my opinion. And so uh, they're trying to you know yeah. Anyway, so shout out to <laughs> Nancy McNally. I would love to talk to you. All right, thank you. That's a good call. Oh yeah, West Westy Westy. Uh, 
dogparkguardians.org. <laughs> I'm going to also auction my fight gear uh, to help support the cause. Thank you.